So this video is about the Texas Instruments Hexbus Printer 80. It's using the Hexbus interface, which was invented by Texas Instruments. And um, there are um, interface connections for the um, Texas Instruments Compact Computer 40. And there is a connector on the TI-99-8 prototype and on the TI-99-2 prototype computer. And there is also um, a peripheral interface uh, for the TI-99-4 and 4A, uh, which is in typical beige color. Um, so, and whoever with all those um, devices, you're able to use those Hexbus peripherals um, where a lot um, have been only produced in a low quantity and some of them have been uh, produced in a more high quantity like the um, modem and the RS-232 and those printer printers the both uh, types of printers and of course the compact uh, computer have been produced in a more quantity but there are certain kind of things like the wafer tape uh, disk drive and so that's Styropor, I don't know if it's the same name seems to be the original uh, ribbon cassette um, packaging or one of them from Texas Instruments. It has a no product ID maybe on the on the side. If you open it, it seems to be the original um, the original AC adapter. On the one um, I got with the 998, you could actually see that it was. Um, um, in reality a brother um, power supply and only got a new sticker so this one seems to be one that was really made by TI at least I guess no for now uh, that is the plug here is a short not so short there are shorter hex bus cables um, hex bus uh, cables, so it's with eight pins, and what have we here now? Maybe I open it on the wrong side. I don't know. I'll put that to the side first, and yeah, I guess I have opened it on the wrong side. So this is the nice printer. I think it was coming with a uh, test page like this, even. And here you can see the installed ribbon cartridge already. And I know that the printer manual is in a bit ugly condition. I saw that on the photos, but it seems you can, you can move that away from the manual. Yeah, that's the Hexbus printer 80 user manual. From Texas Instruments, I guess it's in English only. Um, even with some addendums. Um, so, about that, the wafer, tra wafer tape, digital tape never was released. Um, yeah, it was only um, coming into prototype status, uh, but not beyond that. So that's it for the printer, I guess. Uh, we can open here the the battery um, door. So here you can install batteries and can even do that. Do use this uh, device uh, completely without any um, other power supply. So that is really good. And on the back, we should be able to see the Hexbus um, ports. And here's the power port, in case you want them. Oh, I forgot about the back. Of course, 
you might be interested into the label. So this one is coming with a label actually and it seems to be unit what have we here? One one seven one of all of them and it was date code eighty four it seems so nineteen eighty four and it also uh, specifies which um which uh, battery types you need and which types of power supply you need in order to use that device. There might be some scratches on this sticker. And yeah, I'm totally satisfied with the condition it is in. Uh, you know, this was released over 32 years ago, I can't imagine. I was three years old when that was released. <laughs> Four years. Yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, here is the back of the, of the packaging. And this one shows the TI compact computer. What else might be interesting? Yeah, I guess that's it from this video and I'll continue with the next. Thank you.